And welcome to the Midweek Refuel with Books and Color, where we strive to educate, inspire, encourage, and empower lupus warriors all around the world. Today's Midweek Refuel is going to be pretty short and sweet. If you all remember, I said that I had had hives and um, had some issues with that. Still just getting really over them. Um, they're still popping up out of, you know, every time I go outside, they pop up. But um, I was supposed to be traveling. And my doctor was like, nah, you're not traveling. You need to chill out because you are too vulnerable for catching anything and everything. So and to be in enclosed spaces, you know, small enclosed spaces like a plane or to be around thousands of people like I was going to be, um, it was advised that I don't uh, travel. But... I, I told this to someone and, and they were like, oh, well, you're living in fear. And we talked about fear last week and how we can't allow lupus to run our lives. And the person was telling me, oh, you need to have faith over fear and you need to really um, get yourself in check because you're living in fear. And I, I was kind of taken back by that. Because number one, how do you know how I'm living? That's the first thing. Number two, how do you define fear for yourself? Um, how do you define walking by faith for yourself? You can't define that for someone else. And I got to the point where I was like, you know what? Let me just explain this to you. When you have a chronic illness, there are certain things that you have to think about before even doing half the stuff that people who don't have chronic illnesses do. And using common sense usually outweighs any fear. It usually outweighs any questions. It's just common sense. If you have a compromised immune system, you need to do what's right for you in order to stay healthy. So I guess the midweek refuel is about not allowing people to define you on your lupus journey. Um, unfortunately, lupus is so unpredictable. You can make plans for months like I did and be ready to go. And then lupus will rear its ugly head in its unpredictable fashion and take you out for the count people are not going to understand that and it doesn't really matter as long as you understand it and we can't allow people to come into our lives and try to define how we should be fighting lupus and what we should be doing to keep ourselves safe and I'm sure somebody out there can relate to this where someone has told them, oh, you should be doing ABC. Oh, you shouldn't be using those pharmaceuticals. You should just go holistically. Okay, first of all, holistic is the whole mind, body, and soul. That does not mean that we remove the medicine that keeps us alive. So that's a whole that's a whole nother midweek refuel. But you know, people will always try and come and tell you how to live your life as you battle lupus. But you have to live your life and define your life for you. You have to know where your fears lie and you have to conquer those on your own. You have to know when to use common sense and when to, to sense that, yeah, I'm just really completely bugging and I'm being paranoid. You have to determine that for yourself. No one else can determine whether you are having a paranoid episode or an anxiety-ridden episode or a fearful episode because of something that triggered you. You have to define that. No one else can define that for you. No one can tell you that you're living out of fear instead of faith because they're not living your life. You know, and when people say stuff like that, it's 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 just straight up rude. You know, you don't tell people, oh, you're not living in your faith. You don't know me. You don't know anything about me other than what I show you. So when people come at you like that, you really have to take it and just di ingest it, digest it, and spit it back out. 
because no one can define who you are on your lupus journey. Only you can do that. And you have to make the right decisions for yourself. And I'm sure I'm not the only person going through issues like that. Um, it might be your family member. It might be your spouse. It might be somebody who's doubting that you have lupus. And you can't be bothered with that. We can't allow people to define who we are and what we do on our lupus journey. We know our bodies. We know what we need to be doing for ourselves. And if you feel that you don't know, then you need to find proper help so that you can get on the right frame of mind for yourself to advocate appropriately for yourself. But at no point in time should we be allowing anyone to define who we are as we battle lupus and what we do as we walk on this lupus journey. So your midweek refuel is don't allow people to define who you are or what you do on your lupus journey. I hope that you all are having a great midweek. Um, hopefully the heat is not getting you or the, 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 the change in weather or this whole full moon <laughs> that really can uh, wreak havoc on your body. But, you know, just be aware that these things definitely have an effect on your body. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. All right. Bye-bye.